this out.
was taught if we're born with love, then life is about choosing the right place to put it. People talk about that a lot. It's feeling right. When it feels right, it's easy. But I'm not sure that's true. It takes strength to know what's right. In the way you walk, it's in the things you talk Make me wanna waste my time with you It's in the way you walk, it's in the things you talk Make me wanna waste my time with you Through the happy hours Wanna waste my time, wanna waste my time Wanna waste my time with you Through the happy hours Wanna waste my time Talk, make me wanna waste my time
He approached the situation carefully. He'd been standing in the field of his own emotions, waving round in the wind gracefully. She stayed sheltered in the small house that was situated in the centre, basically built up a metal sheet she picked up in the aftermath of the storm from yesterday. He decided that he'd been treading through the field for too long, so he gathered up every piece of strength he had, put them in a bag and began to walk. He approached the door of the house with his hand trembling, stood and knocked, and as he waited for her to answer, the wind just kind of stopped. She could hear a knocking sound coming from the front door. She thought she was the only one that had survived. She walked pace and slow so the wood wouldn't creak on the dusty floor. She peered out of a peephole at a shadow standing on the porch of someone she almost recognised from the brighter days that came before. He heard a voice asking him who he was and what he wanted and how the wind had stopped and how he had survived the storm. He said, you and I, we made the storm. The wind stopped when I started to resolve the problems we're trying to talk. I survived these storms by problem solving. At this point, she fully recognised the mysterious man. He was an important loving figure that she saw before the storm began. She was confused about how she was also somehow to blame for all the hurricanes demanding. He explained himself and take back some of the blame that he was passing. He could sense that she had immediately gone on the defensive. They were both at a crossroads where confrontation could either lead to aggression or a common resolution to an argument He opened his mouth and began to mention Some mistakes she made previously She perceived this as condescending The wind had started brewing again She said, I built this from the ground to protect me from the weather He said, you conveniently forgot that we built this place together We bowled her about this time and time again Upon the burial ground of every previous life That either blew away or we burned it down they could both now feel tornadoes wrapped around their spinal cords Glaring each other in the eye, cherry picking minor flaws Or sticking them in a quiver, or an armory They were fighting wars, no longer interested in the defining cause for that frightening storm Or stopping it, they were both caught up inside a catacomb with misunderstandings And the cataclysmic events that would follow would lead them right back to where they started There was thunder, there was lightning, there was snow, there was panic There was a clear path to a solution that had long been abandoned There was unspoken words that could have kept the house together had they been spoken There was apologies that were viewed as some patronising worthless tokens There was shit so unimportant that had now been blown massively out of proportion There was a spark at the start of a relationship that was now a huge explosion they were both on their knees as the walls started to blow away from around them They stared at each other through tears